Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucia and this is Lulu's Leaves. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys me taking care of some pest issues. I am refilming this intro because I had food in my teeth yesterday morning. So, so if I look a little bit different, that is why. It is going to be a shorter video just because I was running late for work, so I needed to get out of the house, but I do still hope you guys enjoy it. Today is an exciting day. Tomorrow's video is gonna be super exciting, so look out for that, but yeah, that's going to be all before I get into today's video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing, and commenting as well. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let's just get straight on into it. So guys, I am happy to announce that the pest situation in my cabinet is under control for the most part. I have not seen any pests on any plants in the last little bit. The only plant that I ever found a sort of pest on was that regal that was in here previously, but I'm going to talk to you guys about that just after we do this little update. When I say I don't have pests, I don't have pests that are going to damage my plants and the leaves of the plants. I do definitely have a little bit of a fungus gnat problem, but it is really, really difficult when you have a humid environment like this to not have any fungus gnat issues. So I'm just taking that as it comes. I do need to pick up some more yellow sticky traps because I find those are what works best for me. So the cabinet's been sitting around 60%, which is pretty good because the humidity out here is about 40%. So when the humidity naturally goes up in the summer, this will also go up. It usually stays about 20% higher than out in the open. But yeah, I don't know if I can catch any fungus gnats flying around here, but there definitely are some hanging out. And you know, it's not like the end of the world for me. I don't really get too bothered by them, but I do think I wanna keep it under control. So when I can get to the store, I will, but it's not like first on the agenda right now. My ring of fire is doing so well. Another leaf is out here. And then another one is on the way. As always, this plant just continues to grow. How many leaves are we at now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight leaves. Oh my gosh. This plant is literally on fire. Pun intended. Okay, and then I'm sorry about the artificial lighting, but it is a gloomy day outside, so this will have to do. I did find some spider mites on my uh, philodendron gloriosum here. What is that? That's just a piece of the leaf. So I did find some spider mites on my philodendron gloriosum. This leaf specifically got hit the worst. You can see there's probably still some there. I did wipe it off um, just the other day, but you can see all of that damage. That is all spider mite damage. The, the broken leaf isn't, but all of those little dots are spider mite damage. I'm currently not seeing any, but they're probably just building up their population again after I wiped this guy down. I do have the mini Thripex packages in here, but I don't find that they were working the best uh, for that infestation. They are more of a preventative thing in my experience, but the Gloriosum was hit pretty bad with spider mites. Again, spider mites don't really scare me, so I wasn't super worried, but yeah, I could always, every time I came over to the plant, I could see little webs in between the lobes. So I did want to wipe it down, even though I had those beneficial bugs on there, it was getting to the point where I really needed to. But these bigger leaves are still looking really nice, so. Also, I wanted to show you guys this. I don't know what you guys think about this, but I feel like this is some variegation on this plant. I don't know if it's just, I, I don't know. Usually when plants get variegated, they also deform, at least for the first few leaves. And that kind of looks like variegation to me and it's deformed, so I don't know. Let me know what you think, but 
I'm gonna keep an eye on that one. That is the newest leaf. So what happens if the next one comes out variegated? That would be pretty cool. <laughs> We also got this new leaf on my pink princess, another half moon leaf, which is so exciting. So that guy's also doing well. I do now want to go into the bathroom and show you guys the regal and update on the one that was in the cabinet. So if you guys can recall, I'm sorry if it's echoey now, I did think I found thrips on this plant. Did that make sense? I did think I found I thought I found, I don't know. I thought I found thrips on this plant, but after some careful consideration, I am thinking that it was not thrips anymore. I know I mentioned that in my last video or one of my last videos that I talked about this plant that I was a little bit skeptical, but I am now thinking that they are snow fleas, which is another type of springtail. I do think I have a little bit of footage of them, so if I can insert that, I will, um, but yeah, there have just been some little tiny black bugs on here. And by the way, I totally damaged this plant. I sprayed some soapy water on it and then never wiped it off. <laughs> and this is Southern Exposure, even though it's frosted, it does get a lot of light in here. My thinking is I found a lot of these bugs the other day and they were all on the window ledge. Um, where it was wet and humid and then they would hang out like underneath this fake plant even and thrips don't do that like at least from what I know thrips don't do that so Yeah, and also we have this beautiful brand new leaf here and I'm thinking okay if this plant was infested so much that I could see like hundreds of little bugs on this window ledge don't you think this plant would be more damaged than it is? This literally has zero damage. So I am gonna go ahead and say that I do not have thrips on this plant. I'm continuing to keep it isolated here because I just, I don't want to risk anything, but I don't know, I don't think they're thrips. I always thought they were too small to be thrips, but I didn't wanna be naive, so I just treated it as if it was. I don't think I see any of the bugs on the plant right now. but you can see this damage that I caused there. And other than that, there's really no damage. There's no like gold damage that you would usually see or the just scratchy brown looking damage. There's a little bit of dots here and there, but that could easily be from spider mites or possibly even springtails. I don't know if they cause damage like that. I did spray down the ledge here, but those are the little bugs there. They are long and slender, even though they don't look it in this shot. So next up on the agenda is a situation that I've just been completely ignoring because I just want to. Unfortunately, my philodendron, that's not a philodendron, that is a ficus, that's a fiddle leaf fig. <laughs> this plant is covered in scale and I've just been really lazy and I don't want to keep up with it. So I've just been <laughs> letting it happen and I've been losing a lot of leaves lately. So I do think I'm going to wipe this puppy down and try to get as much off as I can. And if there are any leaves that are just covered, I might just take them off. Before I start this, I should probably show you guys in case you don't know what scale looks like, but those little bumps there, those are little scale bugs right there too. And there are a few different kinds, I think, or at least different stages. They do hang out on the top of the leaves and the bottom and on the stems. So you really have to take a good, good look at your plants if you're looking for these guys. There is another type right there, but yeah, it's, it's pretty bad, but I mean, scale is treatable and it's not like a ridiculous infestation. Like it can get way worse than this. So I am gonna treat it and just see if I can keep it under control at least. If you guys have never had scale before, I wanna let you guys know that you do really have to physically take these guys off. They're not just gonna fall off and die if you spray them. I mean, they can, but it is more likely that you're gonna to have to manually take them off yourself. All right, guys, so this guy is basically all wiped down. That's all I'm gonna do for today. I'm gonna to stay on top of it and try to wipe it down probably every other day, just so I can battle it and just come out on top so yeah it's doing okay and i just pruned off some leaves that needed to come off but 
it still looks pretty healthy on top and um, yeah, I'm not gonna worry too much about it right now. I also wanted to give you guys a little VGI update. This leaf is finally starting to harden off. You can see the color changing to green a little bit there. Really, really beautiful. And it's just absolutely massive compared to these older leaves. Like it is really, really big. I did also want to check up on my Magnificum here because this plant also did have soft body scale. It was not related to that incident. This one just kind of occurred over time, I think. It just found its way into my old house. So I did cut off the leaf that was mostly affected. I don't know why, but it was sticking to one leaf. But I'm just gonna check it over now. I'm not really seeing anything. Oh, I am. Okay, good thing I checked. So if you see these guys here, those are soft body scales. I am going to isolate this guy a little bit. I do find that they're pretty slow travelers, so I'm not super worried. I will take a look at the other plants nearby, but I, I just really scrape them off with my finger and squish them so that they die. There's another one there. And honestly, I just wanna show you guys all of this because I'm not worried about this plant, you know? I don't want you guys to see all of these YouTubers and I'm not shading anyone, I'm just saying, we usually just show the good stuff. And I wanna show you that we all get pests. <laughs> it's very, very normal. Um, plants, plants are meant to go through some things. They're not gonna be perfect their whole lives with you. So yeah, with these smaller guys, they don't really scare me. So I just like to squish them off. Yeah, so there's definitely some on here. They also like to hang out in the veins of the plant, so definitely look out for them there. I'm not sure if there's some science behind that or if that's just my experience, but. All right, so I'm gonna go get that solution. I'm just gonna wipe down the leaves as well for some further prevention. As I'm wiping too, I'm gonna catch some that I didn't catch before and they'll get squished and hopefully die. <laughs> All right, that's it for this guy. I think he'll be okay for the next little bit. Contrary to what I probably should do, I am gonna put them back up here. I just think these leaves are gonna stay far enough away from the other plants that it probably won't spread. And I am gonna stay on top of it now that I know that it's back. So I'm gonna take this guy off and at least get this out of the way. I'll probably end up putting this one in the kitchen, but for now I'm just gonna leave them on the TV here and then we'll move you over. Yeah, so those leaves aren't touching anything. So as long as I stay on top of the treatment, that should be okay. Oh, so unrelated, but I'm so proud of this plant, honestly. It's looking so, so beautiful and I'm no longer a syndapsis killer, which is amazing. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that was interesting. There were a lot of just random pests around, so we got control of that but I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing down below, and also leaving a comment. But that's going to be all for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.